So apparently some Irish billionaires are actually all fur coat and no knickers and are only paper billionaires. Well, at least according to Leo Varadkar anyway, he reckons they have assets on paper but actually have a lot of debt and liabilities and their actual net wealth is either negative or small. And that's why he doesn't think a wealth tax is appropriate here in Ireland. He's spoken to Dahl about this on the back of an Oxfam report that asserts that Ireland's two richest people have more wealth than half of the Irish population. It also shows that the richest 1% of Irish people have 27% over a quarter of the wealth, while the bottom 50% own just 1.1%. Pretty damning statistics, don't you think? And yet here we have our leader, our Taoiseach, hand-waving away the stark realities while making excuses for it. He questioned the methodology, asking if it was net wealth or gross wealth before launching into that nonsense about paper billionaires and how they're all fur coat and no knickers. Oxfam Ireland quickly answered his question on Twitter, explaining that the wealth statistics are based on net wealth, i.e. assets minus debt, thus making his musings and excuses invalid. So a few things bothered me here about this. One, Leo Varadkar was waffling as usual and yet again standing up for the upper classes. And two, almost none of the articles I read that reported on this mentioned that he was wrong. That Oxfam actually used net wealth and not gross wealth. The only article I found that reported the full facts was the Belfast Telegraph. Just one news outlet that countered Leo Varadkar's misleading comments with the response from Oxfam. Why does this keep happening? Why is Leo Varadkar, among others, but him in particular, allowed to say whatever he wants without any pushback or fact-checking from the media? It is becoming a worrying trend that government politicians can seemingly get away with saying whatever they want in an effort to hand-wave away the tough questions with only the opposition able to argue the facts. And even then, it's only during a set time and there are no guarantees the government politician being questioned will even bother answering anything at all. But the more worrying issue here is Leo Varadkar yet again downplaying issues that affect ordinary people. We've seen it before with his lies about how rents are much the same everywhere and how the grass isn't actually greener abroad, only for him to U-turn on that gaslighting waffle in recent weeks to appear more sympathetic to voters. And yet here he is again, arguing on the behalf of billionaires, arguing that the wealth inequality is not a big deal that sure don't we tax them plenty already. Now how long before he finally reads the room and publicly U-turns on this one too, eh? I say publicly because his apparent U-turns never feel genuine, do they? He spoke over the Christmas about how he can be quite blunt in his answers and how he gives a straight answer to a straight question. I actually believed him when he said that, one of the few times where I've read an interview with him and actually believed what he said, to be honest, and I believed it because it speaks to his character. When he answers a question off the cuff, that answer is his true answer. They are his true feelings. So when he was asked about the numbers of young people considering emigrating, he fobbed it off as nothing while trying to make it seem like us ordinary people don't know what we're talking about. Because that is how he truly feels, that young people are making a mountain out of a molehill and that Ireland is grand the way it is. Same as with the winter surge in our hospitals. If you listen to Leo or other politicians, they'd have you believe that the problems really do only show up during winter. They always try to make it seem like things are more complicated than us mere voters can comprehend. And in doing so, they show their disdain for the ordinary people of this country and attempt to minimise the real issues that ordinary people face. So when Leo Varadkar said in The Doll that most Irish billionaires aren't really billionaires and we don't need to tax them, I believe that he believes that. And that is a very worrying thing for our Taoiseach to believe. He is effectively defending and advocating for the very people who have more than they could ever need, at the expense of the ordinary Irish people who are suffering through an endless amount of crises that all hit our wallets. People want governments to be fair and equitable, and when the leader of a government comes out with this sort of nonsense, it's hard to believe that he and his party give a damn about ordinary people at all. 
billionaires do not need to be protected. They have far more than they will ever, ever need. And Oxfam are right. They need to start paying their fair share through taxes. And politicians like Leo Varadkar need to do what's right for the 50% of the population who own the mere 1.1% of the wealth instead of propping up and protecting the 1%. And instead of cluelessly and shamelessly throwing mud at a report that questions the status quo, he should maybe read it properly and take it in. 50% of the population may not be so forgiving next time we get to the polls otherwise. Thanks for joining me today. If you liked what you heard, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of new content. You can also follow me on Twitter for instant reactions to the news of the day. Until next time, Slongafol.